Welcome to all of our students in today's mentoring session. As usual, we'll be starting today's mentoring session also with the weekly sectoral analysis. And uh, first, we'll start analyzing the Nifty futures chart with a monthly time frame. I think same type of chart we can see even this month. Uh, today is 18th of Feb. Obviously, this particular candle has not been closed, but till now, so far, if you can see, it is also looking like a spinning top. So overall, if you see in last few months, we can clearly see that totally uncertainty is there in the market. Only the first couple of candles, this one and the next one, they do emphasize uh, some sort of bearishness. And this particular candle uh, does emphasize little bit of bullishness, but still I would consider this particular candle not to become a very strong hammer. The reason for that is the lower wick should be slightly more larger. So last three candles, it looks like a little bit of a spinning, uh, spinning top type of candle. And overall uncertainty is lurking on the larger time frame charts. Now, if we visit the weekly time frame, First, we'll have a look at the RSI. If you see, RSI is overall drifting sideways. I am using the word drifting and it's completely sideways like this. And the same case is with the price itself. You can see prices are now stuck between the two moving averages. That is the worst place to be. And uh, there is no trend at all. Even if there is a bounce, it gets sold out. And when this selling happens, it doesn't even break the lows and, you know, goes down. It again rebounces and stays completely range bound. So in this type of market, it's very difficult to make any type of money. In the daily chart, if you see this particular part, I'll just hide the current trading in the market. If you see this particular part, this was still tradable. I, I would say this was still tradable. Market was going somewhere. There's a correction, bounce back and a short term correction. You know, swing traders could make money somewhere here. Then there was a rise, which was decently going up. But it was short-lived. But now this thing from 18th of January, last one month, last one month has been absolutely pathetic. I'm not talking about this correction. I don't mind markets correcting and going down violently because uh, we can make money on the downside also. But what happens as soon as market starts going up, supports come in and market goes up. As soon as the market goes up, again, it comes down. When it comes down again, it goes. So this type of sideways choppy markets is a not a very good time to make money in the markets. We'll need to wait patiently. And if you see RSI is also drifting sideways again. So we need to understand the current uh, trend of Nifty futures in the daily chart is certainly down. Uh, you can see this particular candle. This is a gap down. And uh, this particular candle has filled the, this particular gap. But the overall trend is down. But we can see support somewhere over here at 17,150 and possibly at 16,808. So I guess if 16,800, if this particular level is broken on closing basis, all right, if we close below 16,800 levels on a closing basis for one or two days, probably we could hit the previous low, which was at 16,430 or 16,400 and maybe lower. But currently, overall markets are choppy. We need one direction uh, to be established in the market and we need a consistent move. It should not happen that we have two consecutive down days with a big red candle and then suddenly there is a steep bounce back. We will not gain anything from that, my friends. So we need to understand that. And until and unless we have a price move in the market, which is sustaining and it continues consistently, only then you will be able to make money. Understand that. Bank Nifty Futures. Now, Bank Nifty Futures, weekly chart, if I check, the trend is up, but there is no point, uh, no strength in the trend, I would say. The reason for that is uh, I could see only one positive candle. Okay. After that, all of these candles, which are over here, this is, uh, clearly emphasizing these two candles from 10th Jan 2022 and 17th Jan, that there is some sort of selling pressure. Then we have a high wave candle. Okay. Then again, we have a shooting star type of candle and last two candles are again high wave candles and the trend is up. 
Now these high wave candles, my friend, they actually come at a time when market is either highly overstretched on the upside or either on the downside. And these are coming when we are at the midway. Now, even if we are at the midways, and if we have a high wave candle, okay, this is not a spinning top. This is a high wave candle, and high wave candles are uh, do emphasize that the market is overstretched. Then, in case if the market is overstretched, why they don't correct, right? So, problem is even if a correction starts, you can see sudden buying comes up. So, I think we'll need to break these levels first. This recent low of. Thirty-six thousand four hundred. We need a close below this. The current trend in the daily chart is flat. There is no trend over here, so we'll need to close below this level for at least one or two days. Then we'll be able to see through. We'll be able to see lower levels. So currently, the trend is absolutely flat. Trade as less as possible. Private banks, I think, absolutely same. No change even over here. You can see uh, we have a high wave candle, and the previous week candle was a. A long-legged doji. Both of these candles are clearly uh, showing uncertainty in the market. Only thing is that the volatility has collapsed in Bank Nifty in the weekly time frame, not in the daily chart. So currently the trend is flat, and uh, on the upside we need to surpass at least nineteen thousand seven hundred and seventy. And on the downside we need to break this particular Fibonacci retracement on a closing basis. Then only we'll be able to start a new downtrend. Because even if we break this one, we'll have this previous support, right? So we'll need to break this one until and unless something significant happens. Trade as less as possible. If you're holding your stocks, just keep holding with the trading stop losses. If they get triggered, just get out of the stock. PSU banks. PSU banks are relatively a little bit uh, more interesting, I should say. Uh, I think in last. Uh, Couple of weeks back, I think I had uh, posted a view on PSU banks that people should book partial profits in PSU banks, uh, and I generally track SBI. And you can see PSU banks from this particular level they have come down. Let's open SBI for a moment. Even SBI was somewhere over here when I posted the statement. Even I had shared in my videos. Uh, that you should be booking partial profits in PSU banks. So from 548, we can see the stock has corrected till 497. Now what we can see in PSU banks is that we have a cluster of support. We have these two previous highs, and uh, price is closing below this. You can see this particular day, and immediately there is a bounce back. Again, two down days, and we have this particular support till holding. Till this support is holding on, I think so. We are safe. I, I know that we are extremely on the edge of, on the verge of breaking it. But till the time we have not broken it, we are still safe. If there is a bounce from here, decent bounce, and they start going up, and this gap should be filled. Until and unless this gap is not filled, it makes no sense. So once we start going above this gap, maybe there will be a short-term rally in the PSU banks. But if the support is broken. On closing basis, and if we keep on drifting further, avoid going long in PSU banks. Simple as that. Metal pack. Now, metal pack has been one which has been, you know, closing above the trend line, below the trend line, and destroying all the breakouts. And every time it breaks the trend line, it proves to be a false breakout or a breakdown. And the main reason for that is. Uh, no doubt the trend is up, but it is highly overstretched. And even if the trend is up, you know, when the trend is up, if you want to make money in the shorter term time frames of that index or the stock, we need these type of candles, bullish bell tolls, where you can see trend plus momentum. But if you see this candle so far in last two months, and even this one, it is a inverted hammer out of shooting star. So even if the stock is going up, the index is going up, there is lack of momentum and some sort of selling pressure is coming up. Weekly uh, chart is a little bit more interesting rather than the monthly time frame. I can uh, resonate to that. And if you see this particular candle, this is extremely strong, which has come up on the back of, of the support of this 61.80% Fibonacci uh, retracement. Even the tip of this candle is providing decent support. You can see these two tips are colliding with each other. Now, if there is a bounce back which starts, and if we 
close down this gap and if the rally continues then maybe you can start looking at the metal pack otherwise just stay patiently wait patiently and uh, don't jump into the metal pack and don't just buy any stock because if you see metal stocks right now there are few stocks which are still weaker if i'm not wrong if you just look at this stock so this is a weak stock you cannot just pick any stock you'll have to be very sure which particular stock you want to trade in because overall market is also choppy when overall market is choppy and when that particular stock is also weak or either choppy then chances of not making money and chances of making a loss will increase uh, tremendously so be very very careful and also if you trade deploy only 50% position sizing this is not a time to you know be brave or to be fearless this is a time to use your brains and become more risk management oriented person auto pack is also looking strong strong in the sense yes the stocks might not be going up but at least they are holding on the trend is up in the weekly time frame chart only problem is there is lack of momentum all these candles so far have been uh, spinning tops this is a high wave candle even this is a high wave candle and these three candles uh, are spinning tops basically so overall trend is up and uh, if you see that the supports are holding on till the time this supports are holding on things are fine but still there is a lack of momentum if the price starts moving up starts closing above all these wicks then maybe you can fancy your chances but again be very careful and pick the right stock there has been one stock which 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 is trying to go higher you can concentrate on this one bajaj auto the weekly charts are not very strong but uh, you can concentrate on this chart in case if you see any strong momentum you can watch it now finance pack financial services the trend is flat you can see prices are between the moving averages nothing much interesting over here even the rsi is flattening out uh in the monthly time frame chart also the trend is up but again there is selling pressure coming at higher levels you can see due to this trend line and in the daily time frame what i can see uh this particular support was broken with this particular candle this entire horizontal support now there is a bounce back there is a bounce back and this bounce back is due to uh, this bounce back is due to that particular clarification i think from Uh, Russia or something that there is the, the troops have been withdrawn, and after this day, what I could see that this particular resistance band has not been surpassed on closing basis. You can see on 16 Feb prices did try to close higher, but again on closing basis, I mean in intraday it did went up, but on closing basis prices came down, and uh, this particular horizontal bands lower band uh, this lower level. is the 78.6% fibonacci retracement of this particular uh short term up move i could say so this is a strong resistance and after this bounce back if the resistance catches up and puts selling pressure on the price prices may drop down if this low is broken which is a very strong support because two big candles one big red candle one big green candle the lows of these candles are obviously strong supports if we close below this and sustain we'll see lower levels coming up it pack i guess one of the weakest pack of all the sectors right now i have repeated this i think in in my last session also uh, we'll be doing it pretty quick in it we'll not be visiting the weekly time frame chart i think we are on supports the trend is down and we need to close below this particular a low which is somewhere around 33 to 80 i think if we close below it and sustain you will see prices going below and kindly if any one of you is holding stocks in it please exit as soon as possible until and unless the support is not broken prices may consolidate it may go up and down but once we close below this then i think hell will break loose over here please be very very careful and i'll be very surprised if that doesn't happen pharma pack pharma pack again i think the trend is now down in the weekly time frame also only thing is that this particular 
uh candle is a sort of a hammer not a very strong hammer in fact this is this looks like a hammer not exactly a hammer uh but what i can see according to me is uh, the cons the consolidation is happening in the daily chart also if you see properly this consolidation is happening in coming days if the selling pressure accelerates and if we close below 13120 or 13100 uh there could be a probability of acceleration of selling or sell off going forward in the next few days so just be careful in pharma pack fmcg is stuck between two different zones in the weekly chart it looks very very attractive it clearly seems to be uh facing a resistance on the higher level and some sort of support band is also trying to provide decent or even strong support to this particular index but uh, frankly speaking we will not be able to trade until and unless there is not a clear direction if it, uh, until and unless we don't break above the upper band or we don't break below the lower band it makes no sense because we are just range bound over here so what we need to understand just stay put stay away from fmcg pack let's wait and watch and see what happens first where if this low is broken then we'll be able to concentrate on uh, fmcg stocks for swing trades on the short side if this high is broken then we'll see how things pan out first how overall markets are also behaving then we'll see <clears throat> realty pack realty pack uh the candle which we can see currently on the weekly time frame chart is extremely extremely interesting the reason is this is sort of a high wave candle not a very strong high wave candle but a decent one and last week also i told that from this level somewhere over here to this fibonacci retracement this entire uh, zone is a strong support and we do have a high high wave candle over here generally high wave candles coming up after a strong down move Uh, at a support results in a strong bounce back now whether that bounce back comes in the uh, in the realty pack or not only time will tell that needs to be seen but again if this strong up move even if it comes it will be of no use just because if the bounce back comes it goes till this uh, say for example the resistance level and then again prices starts coming down it will make no sense so don't be extremely excited just because i have told that there could be a bounce back be very very careful we need an established uptrend to make money when stocks are going up or when that particular index is going up you need to be very very smart and understand that just one day or a two day pullback is not going to make any money for you so wait patiently even if there is a pullback see how much it sustains uh again next week all again i will analyze all this for you and then possibly you will be able to understand what needs to be done don't be extremely in a mood to initiate longs because i know many of you wouldn't have found really good trades in last one month or maybe last 15 days especially and all of you would be eager to make money but this eagerness can be seriously damaging to your trading portfolio all right consumption pack consumption pack again is stuck between two different zones uh, one is the support band upper one is the resistance band and the weekly chart is looking very interesting but once again i think if we close below this particular support band prices keep going down we'll see a sell off happening and above this particular band if prices close we'll see a fresh new breakout happening but within this part i would not be much interested and the reason for that is overall prices overall nifty futures and all other sectors are also exceptionally range bound even if we knew that overall market is weak and this particular sector is just stuck in a range we could use the bounce backs you know just to go short for a short term swing trade or something but we can't even do that because even if after a down move immediately a sharp move is coming up due to global news so you need to be very careful read as less as possible and wait for the right opportunity 
mid caps mid caps you can see the trend is down and the momentum is very very strong straight away you can see so many candles which are green and only one red candle even after this one red candle prices are not able to sustain and we are close to a strong support and uh, if we close below this particular candle then we could see lower levels coming up in mid cap index so be very very cautious and trade wisely all right so i hope this video help you uh, especially the people who are watching it on youtube i hope my efforts are fruitful and uh, you'll be able to understand how the markets may pan out in the next few days trade wisely thank you